Hey guys, it's Chris. From lunatic sharks breaking through cages to attack divers to nighttime kidnappings by brazen sharks off the coast of Hawaii, here are 10 times where shark diving went dangerously wrong. Number 10. Shark Murder Diving with sharks is risky business. Countless things can go wrong, but mostly you can get eaten by a shark. In January of 2020, Gary Johnson went diving in Western Australia with his wife and was mauled to death by a great white shark. And while this is horrifying enough as it is, his wife helplessly watched the entire thing play out right before her eyes. While her husband was getting chomped on by a shark and the water was filling with blood, she could do nothing at all to help. This happened at Devil's Rock, roughly three miles from West Beach. According to the report from Insider Magazine, the couple entered the water at about midday, and even though Gary had with him a shark shield designed to send out electrical impulses that repel sharks, it didn't seem to do him much good. It's unclear why the shark attacked and killed Gary, and to make matters even worse, when his wife tried to drag his body onto the boat, it proved too heavy, and she had to let go and watch him sink into the ocean. Talk about traumatic. And to make things even worse than worse, as of the time of the report, Gary's body still hasn't been found. Number 9. Modeling with Sharks When choosing a great location for a photo shoot, most people probably don't want to do it underwater while diving with sharks. And yet a model named Molly Cavalli decided it would be a great idea to do a photo shoot underwater while inside a shark cage, wearing nothing except a swimsuit. Well, you might say the idea came back to bite her in the rear end. Or more accurately, the idea came back to bite her in the ankle. Within seconds of being underwater, a giant shark broke through the bars of her cage and took a great big bite out of her ankle. This should not have happened since these cages are supposed to be safe regardless of what you're wearing. The model shrieked in terror and was quickly pulled out of the cage and back onto the boat, where she showed everybody the horrible wound on her leg. The adult entertainer then needed 20 stitches to close up where the shark had bitten her. But what makes this story kind of ironic is that the model had been testing some new hardware to support underwater live feeds for social media from any place in the world. And yeah, it looks like that technology works. But maybe next time she'll choose a safer location. Or she might need a new manager. Number 8. Baby in the Shark Tank a couple of travel bloggers are in hot water after putting their five-year-old son inside of a shark tank. Nothing went horribly wrong during the dive. Everyone said hello to some sharks and stepped out of the cage perfectly okay. But the incident did cause a pretty severe backlash against the travel bloggers known as the Bucket List family. As even people who enjoy their channel said it was ridiculously inappropriate and dangerous to put a small child inside of a cage where sharks could potentially bite off the child's legs. This dive happened off the coast of Baja, California, and even though the young children had to go through a serious and rigorous safety briefing beforehand, people online agreed that it was no excuse for sticking such a young person into such a dangerous situation for the sake of views. This is especially true considering the legal age for diving in places like Australia is 12 years old. Plus, the bars on the cage were so wide the kid could easily have slipped right through them and into a shark's mouth. I don't know about you, but I think most adults are afraid to get into a shark cage, let alone a little kid. What about you? Would you let your kid do this? Or do you think this isn't really that big of a deal? Let me know in the comments below. Don't worry, this is a judgment-free zone. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe if you're new here. We have lots of new videos coming up all the time. Number 7. Fishing with Sharks Diving with sharks isn't always a good idea, but neither is spear fishing in the middle of the ocean when there's a shark nearby. This is a recipe for disaster. When a Hawaiian stuntman named Mark was spear fishing in the shark infested waters of the Gulf of Mexico, he had a very real brush with death. It all happened after Mark got into the water with his spear to catch some of the local wahoo fish. He wore a camouflage wetsuit with fins and had a pretty good day out in the water until it was time to swim back to the boat. That was when he found himself surrounded by at least 30 dusky sharks. Miraculously, Mark managed to shove his spear into one of the shark's mouths as it lunged for him. Unfortunately, he lost his weapon in the process. And according to Mark, in the few seconds that followed, he also lost his GoPro and all evidence of this amazing encounter. That means we have to take his word for what happened next. He allegedly was swarmed by the entire group of sharks, but managed to reach the boat and slip out of the water just in the nick of time, with his camera and all his other gear sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Number 6. Shark Break-In Shark cages are designed to keep divers safe while underwater. That's what makes this next story so incredible. 
A group of divers thought they were perfectly safe when they were diving off the coast of Guadalupe Island. The cage seemed sturdy. Everything appeared to be working. And then a great white shark crashed through the cage and nearly killed a guy. The shark literally ripped the cage open with its face and tried to take a bite out of the diver who was obviously horrified. Luckily, the crew acted very quickly and opened the top of the cage to give the shark a route of escape. The thing is that sharks can't actually swim backwards, so once it broke into the cage, it had nowhere to go except forward. The diver luckily got out of the way in time not to be harmed, and the shark leapt out of the top of the cage, flopped back into the ocean, and made its escape. Number 5. Shark Gets Stuck Something similar to our last story also happened off the coast of Mexico's Guadalupe Island. Except this time, the shark didn't actually make it all the way through the cage. Rather than breaking through the cage and scaring the divers, the shark got its head stuck between the bars. The video of this was shared online and it created quite the uproar. People are understandably angry considering the shark got its head stuck in the cage and as a result it died. The problem here is that the holes in the cage were way too big. When you look at the video of this dive cage, there doesn't seem to be a lot of sense to it. Why are the holes so large that a shark can stick its head inside? That kind of defeats the purpose of the cage. Unfortunately, pure neglect ended up killing the shark in this case. It did manage to get its head out of the bars, but in the video posted online, you can see that it floats listlessly towards the bottom of the ocean, very much deceased. Number 4. Hammerhead Attack To be clear, not all diving accidents involve a great white shark. When a man was diving roughly 100 miles off the coast of San Diego, he had a pretty nasty encounter with a hammerhead shark. According to NBC San Diego, the man was bitten on his right hand by a hammerhead shark while diving from a passenger vessel. This happened at a very popular diving area, and it's one of the first serious hammerhead incidents ever. And it's the first one on the west coast. Luckily, an EMT was able to give the man basic first aid, and then the patient was airlifted from the boat with an MH-60 Jayhawk helicopter to the nearest hospital. According to the local coast guards, it was the only shark attack all summer. Plus, since the 1950s, there have been only a total of 32 confirmed hammerhead shark attacks. Imagine being one of the only guys to be attacked by something. That's got to be embarrassing. Number 3. Death Down Under In yet another tragic scuba diving incident, an Australian man was killed off the coast of Queensland. The kid was only 20 years old when this happened in the summer of 2020. According to the report from CBS News, at least four people have died from sharks in Australia in 2020 alone. This newest incident involved the young guy being bitten all over his legs. And even though there was a doctor and nurse at the scene to provide first aid, by the time the helicopter showed up to take the kid to the hospital, he was already dead. It's unclear what exactly he was doing diving in such dangerous waters, but nonetheless, it's an extremely tragic event, especially considering his young age. Number 2. Breaking Protocol Breaking protocol is never a good idea, especially when you're diving with sharks. This next incident involves 10 scuba divers, who had the adventure of a lifetime when things went wrong off the coast of South Africa. For safety reasons, the 10 divers were instructed to act as a school of fish by staying together vertically under the water. However, the divers broke the safety protocol and got separated, and within a few seconds, the enormous tiger sharks were going after them for dinner. Only one diver was seriously attacked, with the huge tiger shark trying to take a bite out of his rear end. Fortunately for the guy, the shark's teeth didn't sever any major arteries. He did get a small flesh wound, but he ended up swimming away from the incident still alive, and it definitely could have gone the other way. This should be a lesson to always pay attention to protocol. Number 1. Don't dive at night. There are a few things you shouldn't do when diving off the coast of Hawaii. First, don't do it alone. And second, don't dive at night. New clues are suggesting that a man who went missing during a solo night dive in early October likely met a violent and most gruesome end. According to the local police in Hawaii, clothes had been recovered from the ocean near a diving buoy that had been left by the guy who went missing, and the clothes show signs of a shark attack. Considering all the evidence, police believe the missing man will probably never be found because he was probably eaten by the shark. If true, it would be yet another one of the over dozen incidents involving humans and sharks in Hawaii in the last year. In May, a man from California was killed by a shark while swimming off Maui. This kind of thing happens all the time. If you'd like to increase your chances of staying alive while diving with sharks, you may want to consider not going out at night, not going out by yourself, and always following the protocols. 
Are you going diving with sharks after watching this video? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to come back soon.